is that? Yeah, it's Guardians. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're, that, this is it. This is Downtown Disney. Field Marriott. <laughs> uh, we just checked in. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit hard finding the parking. You have to pay $24 for parking, but we're staying here for two nights and it was about $200, so that's not bad. And it's literally across from Disney Springs, so we could walk over to Disney Springs at any time, so that's kind of nice. Um, and you're parking here, so you don't have to pay for parking at Disney. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Check in was easy um not magical not the most magical receivings but you know a lot of people passed at once <laughs> um but yeah so i'm used to like checking into a disney hotel and getting like disney magic and i get that here i tried checking in online but uh you still have to come in person and do all that we did a uh get a cart for our things we just have the one suitcase and i know this seems like a lot but it's because we have like food for tonight and then snacks for the room um, and we just thought it would be easier all in one sweep. Brendan is parking the car which is why I'm sitting here at Mickey's chair. Um, what else? The pool is a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. Not that we're gonna swim, it's kind of cold. It's been cold here in California so we probably won't swim. Uh, we didn't bring a swim too. We were planning not to swim because we knew. Uh, and then the hotel is on the outside. Which I did not know based on pictures. I didn't know that. The lobby was okay. I like did some video of it so you'll see it. And then we'll see the room. I'm just excited. We can already see Disney, Disney Springs. People are walking back because Disney Spring closes at around nine. So yeah. Here's the lobby. I'm gonna go look at the portraits. Bathrooms, which is nice. I don't know if they're open because if you know. But they have pictures of like the construction. Very cool. Oh. I'm so excited. Oh, so cool. It's like a little chill area. Hmm. So we're in the room. Um, so far we're a little disappointed. We asked for a view. They didn't give us a view. Um, it's nice, so we, I guess at this point we don't care, but it's just disappointing. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. The portraits are really pretty. It's just very Disney California Adventures type. It has this couch that we already used up for our things. And this is what uh, where we put the suitcase. We only brought one together. Um, it does have a joining door. I put my cocoa bag there. So there's a joining door. I'm probably going to put a suitcase there just because I'm like, uh, what is that called? Paranoid. Here are the two beds. They look pretty good. Um, nothing too <laughs> special about the... The base of it, there are the drawers. Again, nothing too special about this. Here's another portrait, again, very Disney California Adventures. Um, the portraits are actually very pretty. I, I wouldn't mind these like in my bathroom <laughs> at home or something. The floors are just laminates. Uh, we probably will not use the drawers. We're only gonna be here for a couple, two days, literally a couple of days. So nothing too crazy. There's what the TV looks like, a good size. It does have a desk. <laughs> right now we have Jollibee's on it. If you've never ate Jollibee's, try it. It's um, My husband calls it the Filipino McDonald's, but um, it's a Filipino fast food. We really like the spaghetti. He loves the peach mango uh, pies. He also likes the rice from there. I like the spaghetti, and that's pretty much where I stick. And the chicken's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like 
take it home good, but it's good. It's one of his favorite restaurants. Like if you can eat there, he'll eat there. <laughs> so it has a mirror. I'll probably be doing my makeup here tomorrow. It does have this barn door here, which is quite nice. So you don't wake up the other person if you're in there. So that's kind of cool. Here's what it looks like. So there's no closet really. So this is the closet slash bathroom. I do like that there's a separate door to the toilet <laughs> and to the um shower that's always nice and then the sink because then one can be showering one can be getting ready this is what the shelving looks like probably will not mess with that um here we have some coffee cups which we'll probably use probably not the actual coffee itself but we'll use coffee cups four dollar water disney prices as you can tell here's the magic uh in here we have a safe here, maybe a fridge. Ooh, a fridge. They do have Pizza Hut in the third floor, so that's kind of nice. And it just, oof, sorry, your regular, like, extra sheet and then iron, <laughs> iron, that guy. I haven't used any of those since maybe high school. I don't know, since my parents. There's me. Um, and then these shelves are here, which are kind of nice. That's probably what we'll put, like, just, like, our toiletries, one for him, one for me. The bathroom is okay. It's like a regular hotel bathroom. I was kind of grossed out. There was a hair in that area, and I was like, Ugh. Um, but everything else looks fairly clean. So, is that another hair? Because if it is, I'm going to pull it out. So, yeah, just regular average hotel bathroom. Nothing too exciting about it but it does the trick it is a really good size honestly compared to our disney world one it's a really really good size i'll probably film my outro on our last day just to give like final remarks already we're just not feeling the vibe um the person who checked us in <laughs> was missing some magic in in her day she probably had a busy day because of touch of disney so probably a lot of people stayed here uh, when we got here, it's close to Disney Springs closing, so a lot of people were walking back, so it probably got busy when we got here. Um, and then the parking is a bit of an issue. It got pretty full, so we had to park far. And so, you know, if you forget anything in the car, like we did, you have to walk and get it. So, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. It's nice that we have two beds. If you haven't seen my other vlogs, we love two beds. And yeah. I will see you in a couple days when we check out and see my final review. Really quickly guys, I wanted to show you, this is where the hotel is. Matterhorn is across the street. So I don't know how they took such a beautiful picture that they have advertised. We're assuming if you're like in the top row, top two rows maybe, you can see Disneyland. But there's no way you're seeing Disneyland from any other view. Hey guys, I am back home since I filmed that video. It's been a week and I'm finally getting time to sit down and record our final thoughts of the hotel. You have no idea how much happened since my last video at the hotel where I was like, we'll see, like very optimistic. That night got crazy. So quick story time. <laughs> so that night we, you know, ate Jollibee's, like I said, we would. We unpacked a little bit, we showered, and then I was like getting ready for bed. It was around 11 and I opened the sheets and this was kind of my issue. I opened the sheets and there was a bunch of tiny hairs on the sheets. And I don't mean like hair, I mean like tiny hairs. And those tiny hairs come from all over the body. If you catch my drift, they come from everywhere. It could be an eyelash, it could be a, a, a hair from your legs. It could be, I don't know, any other leg type of hairs that are this small. So it was full of hair and so I checked the other bed because there's two beds and the other bed was the same. So I'm like, oh, great, like we already unpacked. Like I should have known better. I did check for bed bugs. Like anytime I go to any hotel, I check for bed bugs, but I didn't check for hair because it's never happened to us. So I was like, great. So I called the lobby and I was like, hey, there's hair in my, in my bed. And she's like, oh, on both? And I was like, yeah, on both, which I don't know why it mattered, but she's like, okay, I'm gonna change your rooms. So you're gonna go to this room, but I don't, my key maker isn't working. So someone's gonna have to open it for you. And I was like, he's, she's like, he'll meet you right now. And I was like, oh, okay. So Brendan stayed in our original hotel room. Let's call it hotel room one, <laughs> just because I don't know the actual numbers. And then I went to hotel room two with the guy. He opened the door and then he's like, okay. And I was like, oh, well, how do I get back to my other one? Like I can't, I, there's no key. 
and he's like oh yeah like what's up and he, he didn't even know what was going on i guess she just told them to open room two but didn't tell him why so i had to explain to him all, like all over and he's like oh let me check with her so he takes my original key that i had for room one and goes and i'm like great we have no key for room one or room two so i call my husband and i'm like hey i'm in room two i'm gonna check it out but while i'm checking it out can you start packing and he said yes so as he's packing and we're still on the phone with each other we're just on the speaker uh the cleaning ladies open the door on room one and he's in there obviously packing madly all their stuff and they are there and they are they're like talking spanish they're confused as to why he's there he's confused as to why they just came in because they didn't even lock so I don't know what the communication was. I don't know if the person in the lobby was just like, go clean room one. These people are going to room two, but didn't realize that we had to like grab our stuff. Like there was no like no time in between to like pack and get your stuff to the other room. Uh, so they just opened the door. I'm like, I'm glad he was, you know, but they should have probably knocked. Anyways, so they get in the door, they're confused. And then they know they're there to change the sheets. So they start changing the sheets, but they're talking in Spanish. And they start talking about how like, they're frustrated at the situation and how they're not seeing any hair and they're talking to each other about like do you see any hair i don't see any hair where's the hair like very like that and they didn't know that i was on the phone and i could hear them and so i told my husband i was like hey they're saying they're not seeing the hair can you point them out to them because there's clearly hair on those beds so that happened finally my husband ended up bringing all the stuff up to room two mind you it's like in different floors it's not literally like one and two it's like you have to go up floors and things but he kept having to leave the door half open because we don't have a key to get back so we just had to leave our stuff kind of half open until he brought it up but i couldn't leave to help him because then we had no key for the second room while this was happening i checked the second room and there was again a tiny little hair this time it was just one bed and i was like you know what <laughs> it's fine like <laughs> It's cool, it's just one bed. I'll just, we'll just use the other bed because it's at this point it's close to midnight. We're supposed to go to a touch of Disney the next day and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. But then I go it to the bathroom and in the bathroom there is hair in the tub. And I'm like, what is this? What's happening? I'm not going mad. But this time I decided to take pictures because I was like, you know what? I feel like the cleaning people didn't believe us. I feel like the lobby person didn't believe us. And I need to take pictures because I know I'm not going insane. And I'm not a person to usually complain or like, I'm very like, excuse me, you know, <laughs> very like that. So it was just ugh, new for me. So I even had to call my mom and I was like, how do I deal with this? Because I did not know. And so I called the lobby and I'm like, hey, uh, there's just a couple hairs here and there. Like, we don't want to move again. We just have a, a couple issues. And, um, she didn't sound too happy on the phone so I, the cleaning ladies ended up showing up to room two the same ladies that showed up to room one again they're already annoyed at us again i don't want to be those people who are like <sighs> i even don't send orders back when they're wrong like that's the kind of person i am like i'm just like eh. and so is my husband we're just very eh about our stuff so um so they're back this time they know i speak spanish <laughs> because they've been warned i speak spanish and so they're like where's the hair and so i go in and point at it i show them in the tub and then they start cleaning right in front of us and it's so awkward i don't know what to do my husband and i are like okay we're gonna go to the lobby and talk to the front person because this is not okay we're a little frazzled so we go down to the lobby and it sounds like the lobby person's already having issues with another guest so she hangs up the phone she talks to us and, and you know we're very being very polite just being like like you know this is a weird situation for us like we can't believe this hair on both things and she's like yeah like i don't know why there's been like harrison both like almost disbelieving and i was like look i took pictures like we just feel like we're doing something wrong when we just want to you know <laughs> sleep <laughs> that's it but i don't want to sleep in somebody else's hair right that's normal i don't know <laughs> so um she's like well i don't know what you want me to do for you and i was like i don't know it just gives us a solution like change the beddings or like just give me gloves i'll clean it like just give me a solution and so she's like you could check out if you want and then um i can just close it out and, I, and we're like at midnight where are we supposed to go <laughs> granted there's probably somewhere to go because we were like right in front of disney's and there's a bunch of hotels on that like avenue but it's midnight <laughs> and all our stuff is upstairs and we would have to pack it back up put it in <laughs> we're like no we just want to solved like we just need to solve and so she's like okay i'm gonna get them to change the bed sheets for room two i'll have them clean the tub and um and she comped us for parking which is nice um 
And then when we were leaving the lobby, we heard the other client come down, the one that she was having an issue with, and they started almost yelling at each other. And she started talking to him about how she doesn't like his tone. And we just left because <laughs> it was 12 and we didn't want to hear somebody else's problems because we already had our own. <laughs> and yeah. So the cleaning lady, by the time we got up, the cleaning ladies had new sheets that they were changing and they were cleaning the tub. And then, you know, we said bye very awkwardly and then they left. And then that was it. We did end up staying there the two nights. It was just two nights. Not worth the hassle of finding a new room and things like that. And we just wanted to be like in the magic of Disney. So it threw us off for a loop. I'm not going to lie. Like arriving there and having like a weird experience. The next day we had to kind of like laugh about it and forget about it. And just have a magical time at uh, Disney California Adventures. So overall, would I recommend it? <laughs> I don't know no maybe I don't know there's some great things right so we walked to Disneyland in like less than 10 minutes great we went through an entrance that is not as busy great because the temperature screening and all that took almost no time so where it's at the location is spot on right great but there's other hotels there so if you're thinking okay location wise you have other options so I don't know if that takes it away price wise it matched two other hotels that were near the area so there's like three options so if i were to do that again i would probably choose one of the other two options that were around the same price range we did end up paying around 200 for the two nights so 100 a night um which is really good but i think right now a lot of the rooms were having sales because it's been a while since anybody goes to disneyland or stays at the properties um would i stay there over a disneyland hotel no I would pay the extra money and stay at a Disneyland hotel just so I can get that Disney magic experience rather than the experience we received. And not that I've like, we've been to other hotels that are not Disney hotels and always great experience. So this is, this really threw us for a loop. And again, it's been a while. So maybe they weren't operating and I don't know. Um, so the price was fine for what it is. Uh, the view lied a little bit in the pictures. It shows that you're like right in front of Disney and you can see like a Matterhorn from your window and stuff like that. We didn't have the location we wanted, but even if we're like on the highest window with the most strict straight view to Disney, it's still pretty far. You would have to like <laughs> grab your camera and zoom in to see Matterhorn or something like that. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to see Disney from the window, that's also not true. Um, in, in sense of like, it provided shampoo, conditioner, a place to stay. That was nice, but that's every hotel. Um, parking was $25 per night. So if you're taking a car, that's something else to consider. So add an extra whatever to it. Um, so overall, would I recommend? Probably not. Um, would I be like, no, don't stay there. No, I wouldn't like, <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, spray with water if you stayed there. But I would be cautious if you stayed there and I would just suggest that before you unpack, take a shower or eat, check your beds. <laughs> check that there's no bed bugs, that's a big one. <laughs> and check that there's no hair. And I don't know, I'll, I'll probably learn another life lesson as I go in my adulthood. But would I recommend? No. Would I like cry if one of my friends stayed there? Also no. And she did try to accommodate us and that towards the end, um, she sounded apologetic. And the next day was a new person, a new service person, and they were great. <laughs> so maybe she just wasn't having a good night and us being there didn't help. And the card for the rooms probably didn't help. So I would give her that benefit of the doubt. And she did try towards the end to help us. So yeah. <laughs> so that's the hotel. That's the review. <laughs> Let me know if you have questions about the hotel. Let me know if you have questions about any other hotel. We have stayed at Paradise uh, Paradise Hotel. I can't remember the full name. It's a Disney hotel on premises. That was great. It's like the value one. I think it was like 120 something per night. Very good. I would recommend that one. Um, we wanted to stay at a hotel at Disney, but obviously they're not open yet. The first one doesn't open until the end of April. So when we go in May, maybe by then the resorts will be open and we'll stay at one of the Disneyland ones and experience more, more magical welcome. <sighs> All right, <laughs> don't forget to hit the bell so you can see more videos. Like I said, I do Disney content 
all the time, most of the time. <laughs> and um, videos come out every Wednesday and Friday, although my schedule has been a little bit off, so I would suggest you hit the bell so you get notifications when my videos do come out. All right, until next time, bye.